how many times can you relive a moment before it changes the past? Before it's no longer a memory? I asked God for help one last time. I could feel the water filling my lungs. God, if you can hear me, show yourself. I'm begging. Nothing. I drifted deeper, deeper into darkness. Every moment of my life, flashed in front of me, and as the light faded, quietly I heard, was that not enough? Was that not enough? The last bit of life escaped me. Slowly, slowly, my body floated to the surface. I'm one of my best. It's, it's getting harder to remember all the details of this place, the town, the theater, all the people that used to be in it. But reading from this old journal it helps me remember, it helps me fill in all the gaps, the missing pieces. Some people get a chance to move on. Some just get left behind. I've been living this day over and over for longer than I care to remember. 10 years, maybe. Long run for a show. A little more if you, you count the first run. Of course, that was nearly 50 years ago. No one left to take care of this place. No one left to watch either. But there was a moment, a moment on that stage I just can't let go of.
Just too old now. My name is James Mayfield, and I'm going to tell you the story of the day I died. Of course, there was no way of knowing this would be my last day. It started out like any other. Breakfast was on the table, news on the radio. Yes, I was running late, as usual. As I got closer to the road, I could see this old truck stuck in a ditch. Wheels spinning, mud flying. It's a beautiful old truck. How it got there was beyond me. The man behind the wheel was like no one I'd ever seen. Had this unnatural grin. As I got closer, the grin turned into an eerie laugh. Little did I know, my life was going to end that day. For this was no ordinary man. I was looking straight into the eye of the devil. And he wasn't going to let me go. Closing night approaches. The hell is this? You don't decide when I quit. I decide when I quit. You don't need my own damn book telling me when I'm done. Even back then, I had a closing.
I know you love my show. I don't know if it was the noise or movement that woke me up. I tried to reach out, but I was boxed in. There was no place to go. It felt like woods surrounding me. It was dark, except for a tiny hole that let a faint bit of moonlight bleed through. I could tell I was in the bed of a truck. M maybe in a wooden box. I heard the brake squeak as the truck came to a stop. If it wasn't a coffin, it soon would be. For a moment, it was quiet, except for the night sounds. Then I heard the tires of the truck crunch the gravel as it backed off the highway. I could hear the door open, the footsteps came closer. Then the latch opened the tailgate. I could hear the wood slide fast across the metal bed of the truck. Then I was falling, hit hard. Shook me up a bit. Then the box started rocking back and forth. It was then I realized the hole that once showed me light was now filling with water. Time to go. There are moments in life so powerful, you, you try to trick your mind into reliving them. Every night I try to catch a glimpse of that feeling. Light on my face, smell of old wood, sound of people shuffling, just trying to be quiet, but tonight, no one was trying to be quiet. It just was. Today, uh, story of the day I died. I asked God for My lungs were filling with water, and I asked God for help one last time. God! God, why won't you help me? I beg God!
You took everything. You took everything. You bastard. You took it away from me. My name is James Mayfield, and I'm going to tell you the story of the day I died. Of course, I had no way of knowing this would be my last day. It started just like any other day. Every moment of my life drifted by. It was enough. The only proof I would ever need. To whoever finds this old theater in this old town, be good to this place. It meant a lot to me, but I spent way too much of my life holding on to a, a moment I used to know. Sometimes a man has to stop living in the past, just remember it. Move on. Sometimes he needs a little help. Sincerely, James Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs>